Alright guys, as you can see, we got us a teddy bear hamster. So we're going to show you how we're transferring her from this cage oh to the other. Look at that, it's Gymnastics 101. Her name's Midnight Rose because she's black with a white bell bell. And look at her. She likes me. She said, I'm coming to get you. The lady at the pet shop told us that it would be 48 hours before she, like, got used to her new surroundings and the noises around her and stuff like that and that we would see her biting on the cage and stuff like that. But she also told us that she's a Houdini and she knows how to escape this cage. That they came in one night. Okay. They came in one night and felt her on top of the feed so we're just a bunch of family Bree, you trying to knock it out of my hand i want to show them we're just a big old family of chaos so we decided to add a little extra chaos to the mix yep. and this one right here is obsessed with some midnight rose me too but look at her until she gets used to all the noises and sound around her and she's going to be chewing on the thing so we're going to go ahead and transfer her to her new cage and you'll get to see us doing that in just a second until then bye guys. All right, my little munchkin is obsessed with her new hamster so she's setting up its new cage you put your hand at the end no it's done cut open you put your hand at the end of it and pull it open Look at that baby. Oh, what? Hulk. And it says when you're transferring a hamster to a new cage that they like to burrow deep. So, yeah, cut down the front of it, babe. They like to burrow deep into it to, so to make it thick. I'm kind of worried that maybe we didn't buy enough of this stuff, but I guess we're getting ready to see. And I don't want to leave... I don't want to leave the like use the stuff that's in her cage right now that she came with to transfer it so I guess we're gonna see yeah now you just like break it up and make it oh well that's one way to do it Let's become it. <laughs> what's his name that panda bear uh midnight Rose. no the panda what panda in the oh, movie panda. yeah but what's his name little jerk face little <laughs> okay yeah she's just breaking it up and getting it ready for it but as we can see I probably ain't got enough in it sit over there this little heathen wanted to be in the video too <laughs> I was trying to let y'all see them break it up but y'all probably want to see their pretty faces Unless the oldest is making a bunch of mean faces. No, we do not eat. No. We don't do that. I wouldn't doubt it. I didn't use the regular glue I used on mine and Bree's. I used different glue on yours because you're younger. Alright, hurry and get it burrowed so that we can transfer it. Oh, oh are you okay? <laughs> Y'all gotta be quiet. You're a scared of pretty baby. Just don't get any in the floor, please. Oh, I sold you. You're not my daughter no more, Zoe. How rude. She's mean. Oh, she's mean. Oh, sister, what sister, the love. Blood, Put the 
Mighty. Hurry! The longer y'all take, the longer it's scared in its little cage. But how is it gonna bite? It's not. They said it takes it 48 hours to adjust to its new surroundings. So it's pretty much gonna be. That's the little wheel dip. Well, of course, my daughter's got to move it when I'm pointing at it. That's the little wheel disc we got it. Because they said that the wheel that came in this cage is way too little for it. And that it don't have, like, the spine bending ability that mice and guinea pigs and stuff have. So, therefore, it couldn't fit in that wheel that came with it. And most cages that you buy like this, the wheels are going to be too small. So she told us it'd be better to get a flat disc wheel. You can and just see, they there. broke it all up. But she was right. This stuff is really expandable. So it's way thicker than what it needs. So we're going to take some of it out and store it in a bag. Will you hear me that thing that it came in so that they can see what kind it is? She said that... The KT Clean and Cozy was the absolute best to use because it was the most expandable. But now they're just going to take some of it and put it back in the bag so that this little poor thing ain't swamped because you see it's that thick. It can't have babies unless you get a boy. But yeah, I'm going to help them remove some of this and then we'll be back in the next clip guys all right y'all we got rid of some of this compacted whatever i don't even really know what to call this stuff but i do know that the lady said that if it had wood that most small animals are allergic to wood where are you gonna put that little wheel y'all remember you gotta make sure it's buried under it she said most small animals are allergic to anything wood. To yeah, you can't put it against the glass so that it can spin. You gotta put it toward the middle. Like that? Is that good? Maybe bring it out just a tidbit more. I'm gonna bury it. And then bury it. I've stopped. Like you use the hooks to scoop it, babe. I'm trying to let them do this. Because this one right here is so super excited to have a hamster. Emmy. She hasn't stopped taking videos and pictures of it and posting them. Like, it needs to go a little deeper, honey. I'm Mom, <laughs> 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 no, I want to put the bowl right here. Can I put the bowl? It wasn't buried at the place. Move your hand, baby girl. I don't have a hand. Your arm. Alright, and there it spins. That sounds so weird. Alright. Can I put the bowl? My bowl. Oh, no, I And then we just got him this little plain Jane bowl. Oh, put it in She's been particular about peeling the stickers off for this little thing. She's a pretty baby. She's sniffing me out. She's got to get used to us and her environment and the sounds around her before. See, before she'll calm down. They said it takes her forty-eight hours to adjust. <laughs> Look at her spinning. The spinning, where's the spinning wheel that came in the cage? Right here. Hand it right there. Oh, little baby. She's trying to come out. See, this is what came in the cage, and it was way too small. Her back don't bend to where she can do this properly. So, we just got the flat disc because they said that's best for teddy bear hamsters. She's cute. So, what do we do with this? Put it wherever you want Can we keep this cage? Just in case, like... We get another animal. And then it came with a little food tray. And a little water I just got to figure out where. And a little water Its food will be there. We're going to switch its food. 
kids are eating. Two. Oh. <laughs> it's like Help all me. over the place. Oh, She's trying to get used to things. She's it's shaking. not used to having such a big cage. Should I take this out because she's climbing in it? She can't. She's used to having this itty bitty tiny thing, and now she's went to all this. See her? Oh, she, she thinks that's her bed. She thinks that's her bed. Alright, where are y'all gonna put her little bed thing in there? I know. Ow! Hold on, let me unlock it. And then once. Also, this hamster is you potty trained, so once it decides where Hold on, let me put his toy in okay. here put that it wants to go to the potty, we just put... Drop it in there. <laughs> we just put its little... It's like a litter box, but it's like a little corner thing that it was using to go potty. But Make sure it's squared... Corner. Okay, we'll put it in that corner and move that. Move it over to that corner. It can't climb that glass, can it? No. The rats can if it has holes in it. But, oh, her toy. Good question. She tore that thing up. What about she jumps in? And we could probably put this right here. In her pee area. Yeah. Bree, there's one that hasn't been chewed up in there in the bathroom. This is her little cage. Let's see if I can get my fingers done in here. This little green thing, it's potty trained. So I put a little bit of the old, whatever this stuff is called, in the potty training corner and transferred it from the old cage to the new cage. And if she decides to start using another corner over this corner then I'll switch it but this is the corner she was using in the other one and she's got one of these little seed bars to chew on and then her feed and then she's got a little toy here and a little toy here and her new spinning wheel which is way better for her than the wheel that she was used to because she couldn't use it she was too big for it I've got the perfect amount because it says she likes to burrow and then they said that they like to climb through these little tulip poker tunnels. So we just, she had one in there that was chewed up. So we just put a new one in there. And then her little house. Because they said that she likes to burrow, burrow deep. And to curl up in an itty bitty tiny ball. And then I've got this little dish under her water bottle. And we duct taped her water bottle to this until we get her new water bottle tomorrow. We're going to get her new water bottle and some more feed tomorrow. But we duct taped it like with clear packing tape above the empty dish. And we're just going to leave it like that until tomorrow. But she was having like a panic anxiety attack in her old cage. Which is this thing right here. And then it's got a thing that goes over top of it. But she was like panicking and she kept chew, 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 chewing on this metal. And where we bought her at Petco, they said that she would keep chewing on this for the next 48 hours until she got used to her surroundings and the noises. And then we put her in here and she calmed down. But she's in love with this one right here and this one right here keeps running from her trying to be scared she loves you bray you don't want to love her she is not gonna bite you if she didn't bite huh oh well she loves her some bb this is kind of like a little bit of a weird blog or whatever but we had a new member of family. We wanted to let y'all know what was going on. And we hope she settles well. They said it could take up to 48 hours for her to settle well. We yeah, hope she mom, settles well. Mom. She's she, been like she, freaking she, out and she chewing she like crazy on the metal of the other cage. So even though... She scratched her neck. She went like and scratched her neck. Uh-huh. So even though we haven't got a water, bo a water bottle... <laughs> Good Lord, even though we haven't got a water bottle to hang from the fish tank yet, 
and we got a fish tank because the lady swears up and down she needs at least 20 gallons. And I'm like, this thing is itty bitty tiny and fits in the palm of my hand. How does it need 20 gallons? But I guess the Petco lady knows better than me. So, she's been freaking out, but she's doing better now. And even though we didn't have a water bottle to hang on it, I'm like watching her. She's playing and cleaning herself. Even though we didn't have a water bottle to hang on it yet. To hang on it yet, we just went ahead and we rigged it and we taped the one that was in her other one because she was freaking out in her other cage and we want her to feel comfortable and to succeed in, I don't know how they would say this in animal speak, but to succeed in feeling good in her new environment. I don't want her to be scared and freak out about it. Oh, my daughter said habitat. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> my daughter's trying to show me pictures, but um, I hope you enjoyed meeting the new little buddy to our family and watching my kids. It's a girl. Do I know it's a girl, but I can still call it buddy because y'all are my buddies. Anyways, enjoyed watching us set up the little tank. We had it, like I said, it came with like. A little ball and it's called like a rainbow stick that it can chew on and then it's got like a seed stick that it chews on and can eat on and then it's bowl of food and we bought it a bowl and I just have it sitting under the bottle I've got taped to the wall and then we bought it a little house and a wheel because the other wheel was too little and we put a new thing of toilet paper in there and we transferred it's like I guess you would call it a litter box if it was a kit cat or whatever but they said the deeper the better that it likes to burrow and curl up when it's sleeping. And she is. She's coming way, way down. Let me show her to y'all. She is not like jumping up and down. You can see the tape where I taped the bottle to it until we go and buy a new one tomorrow. She's not like jump jumping up and down and chew chewing. Baby, they see your arms. She's not choo-chooing, trying to get out of the cage like she was in the itty-bitty one. She's actually calming down and starting to get it a little bit more comfortable. So hopefully oh, this is a successful Mom, learning her new environment. There's two napkins in our food. But until next time, guys, with this beautiful cutie and this itty-bitty baby cutie, Bye, guys.